Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome to another StrikeEngine.com video. So this video is remaps versus tuning box. Which is the best decision for you? Which is the best choice for you? So first of all, how do they work? A tuning box intercepts uh, the signals from the sensors on the engine and a remap rewrites the software in the car's factory ECU. So going into a bit more detail on the tuning box, a uh, tuning box uses the car's original software, very important that. It, like I said, manipulates the sensor signals and by manipulating the sensor signals it forces the ECU to compensate for the signals as it sees to get us to the target that we want, that the tuning box wants. The end result is more power. So to give an example, say we want to get to 0 0.9 bar of boost pressure uh, but the actual pressure, the maximum pressure that the ECU will allow is 0 0.7. The ECU, I mean the car's ECU will allow is 0 0.7 bar. So the tuning box will manipulate the, sen the signal from the sensor, from the boost pressure sensor, down to 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 bar. And then the ECU will compensate for this and increase the boost pressure by 0 0.2 bar to get it to what it wants, which is 0 0.7. So the actual boost pressure is now a 0 0.9 and the ECU is seeing a 0 0.7 bar. And that is how a tuning box gets the engine to make more pressure. It under-reports the boost pressure. So how does a remap work? Like I said, it goes in and remaps the tables that are in the car's factory ECU. So depending on the software that you're using, the ECU will be full or will have many of these maps for different things. So if we this is imagine this was for boost pressure it isn't this specific this is for fuel pressure but imagine this was for boost pressure and in the cell it says 0 0.7 um, with a custom remap this value would have been changed from 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 so there's no manipulation required the ECU will just make 0 0.9 the end result of the tuning box and the the remap is exactly the same i.e. they both get the engine to increase boost pressure by 0 0.2 uh, but they do it in different ways so depending on how advanced the remap is you know a super basic remap or a basic remap will just uh, go in and adjust the uh, boost pressure map and nothing else uh, but it, it depends on the car it depends on the company but generally speaking a basic remap uh, this is what it's going to do so which is better which is better for you? Well, it depends on the state of your engine and it depends on what you want to achieve. So on a standard engine, the difference between a remap and a tuning box is probably going to be pretty small. Um, but the advantage of a tuning box is that there's no warranty concerns, so the dealer can't see that you've been increasing the boost pressure in your car, uh, it, assuming that you take the cables and the tuning box off the car before you go to service. It's undetectable. And obviously the tuning box is much easier to install. You just plug it in. Uh, you, you, can, you can install it and remove it yourself very easily. Um, unlike a remap, which you know maybe you have access to software, maybe you don't. On tuned engines, a tuning box is not suitable at all. The tu a tuning box is designed to work with a factory, factory software, and the factory software is designed to work with a standard engine. So if you've changed the turbo, changed the exhaust, got rid of the cat cams, whatever you've done, you're going to need a remap, a tuning box is not suitable. So like I said, in summary, it's not a matter of which is best, it's like what suits your car. And for standard engines, uh, because the power difference is going to be pretty similar between a, a remap and a tuning box, um, you know, I would personally would probably go for a... Um, just go for a tuning box just because it's just easier to put on put on put off the car for a standard engine for the gains that you're going to get i think a tuning box is probably the winner but for tuned cars um there, there's no there's no there's no um debate you're going to need a tuning uh, not a tuning box sorry you're going to need a remap for a, for a tuned engine the tuning box simply won't work um with a uh, highly modified engine so it's horses for courses it's whichever's best for you standard cars and for for engines that you, you you're not interested in modifying anymore you just want want something simple that you can take on and off yourself 
and you just want a decent power game, then it's hard to argue with a tuning box. But if you're going to take things further, you're going to start changing parts, uh, intakes, exhausts, uh, turbos, then you're going to have to use a remap. So that's it, guys. You know, it's not really, like I said, not really a matter of which is best. Um, just choose the thing that suits uh, your situation. So standard engines, probably tuning box. Modified engines, definitely a remap. So that's the video, guys. As always, uh, please vote on it. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again next time.